Well, I'm sure you've heard of the TV show on History Channel, The Curse of Oak Island, but more importantly, the conspiracy behind the secret island up there in Nova Scotia with the money pit. And the funny thing I thought on this poster was that if you just put an explanation point at the end, it makes a whole different meaning. What lies below? Lies in reference to the men involved and the story that they're putting out on the History Channel. But just a couple quick observations about Season 3, Episode 7. And here they're putting a time capsule into the ground. To that extent, we're going to put a time capsule in the ground at the Bicentennial Memorial. Right about here. Now pay attention to these two guys on the right side, the guy with the black shirt and the guy with the white shirt. Both are obviously Freemasons. We know for sure that Charles Barkhouse is. The Saturday morning. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm a Mason. There are strong connections between the Oak Island mystery and the ancient fraternity of builders known as the Freemasons. In fact, the list of Freemasons who are connected to Oak Island is a long one and includes prominent searchers like Gilbert Hedden and President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So no big surprise when you find a bunch of initiates of the Satanic Church on the Oak Island out here in Nova Scotia. And in an interview with the Oak Island producer, he said, do you know if Rick and Marty are Masons? Yeah, Rick and Marty are not Masons. Charles Barkhouse, our team member, is a Freemason. In fact, recently, I think just this year, advanced beyond the highest degree to the level of what they call Knights Templar in the Masonic Order, which means he's gone above and beyond the screening process of Freemasonry and is now a full-fledged member of the Church of Satan. Dave Blankenship has fabricated into a time capsule. Each member of the Oak Island team makes a contribution. They hope a future gen... And what do we have here? This one is quite the little badge to put into a time capsule for the Oak Island money pit. It says, tour guide, we've got an owl winking with the left eye open. And it says, why marks the spot? Now, the owl could be a reference to Tartaria. That's hard to know. But also pay attention to the red triangle in the YMCA logo. And it's not the only place on Oak Island that you'll find a triangle with an all-seeing eye on top of it. This is a highly Masonic island. And the connection between the pyramid and this man-made swamp is no coincidence. There's also a pyramid underneath of the water right off of the shore of Oak Island. And also it seems the placement of the left eye is directly over the red triangle. But what about the words tour guide? Well, the guy who admits to being a Mason here, Charles Barkhouse, he is none other than the tour guide of Oak Island. And this is a Reader's Digest article about the island from 1965. And the guy who wrote the original Reader's Digest article, David McDonald, he has actually been invited to the time capsule event here to put something into the time capsule. Well, this is a copy of the digest with the article in this. My goodness. And it's the American Cup, but it's still got a few true words. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just interested to find out what exactly he means. It's the American copy, but it still has a few true words in it. And maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like he slips this Reader's Digest in real quick in a manner that nobody could stop him from putting this information in. And it's the American Cup, but it's still got a few true words. 